The timesheets page is accessed via the payroll settings tab, which can be found here or here. The settings on this page allows your employees to enter their timesheet data through the employee self-service portal and manages to enter timesheets via the employee management portal. This is central to certain permissions that pertain to importing timesheets from other providers, as well as other parameters that are relevant to employees and managers when entering timesheets. As a first point of call, if you want employees to access timesheets via WorkZone or the Employee Self-Service Portal, they need to be configured to use timesheets within the Employee File, Pay Run Defaults page. If we take a look at the settings on this page, they include require start and end times when entering timesheets. Select this if you require that employees enter a start and stop time as opposed to just the number of hours worked. If rule sets are in use, start and end times should be required as rules need these in order to calculate pay conditions correctly. Require a work type when entering timesheets. If this is selected, employees will be required to select a work type. You can check to see what work types are available to a specific employee by going to their employee file, work types page. Require a location when entering timesheets. If this is selected, employees will be required to select a location. You can check to see what work types are available to a specific employee by going to their employee file, locations page. Include all timesheet notes in the pay run. If an employee or manager enters a note when submitting a timesheet, ticking this option will make the note visible within the pay run. Notify employees when their timesheets are rejected. If this is selected, the employee will get an email notification if their timesheets are rejected. You can check the employee's email address on the employee file details page. Managers can create timesheets for all employees that aren't enabled for timesheets. On an employee file pay run defaults page, you can configure an employee's timesheet setting. If they are not set to use timesheets, the employee will not be able to create timesheets at all via the employee portal or work zone. However, if this option is ticked, managers will still be able to log in and create these timesheets on their behalf. The final option here, enable employees to select higher classifications. This is only relevant where awards and employment agreements are in use. Higher classifications are similar to work types, but are handy for when employees may need to select multiple shift conditions, as you can only select one work type per timesheet. These shift conditions might include cold work conditions, working at height, or supervising a certain number of employees. You'll be able to check what shift conditions are available for a specific employee by going to their employee file, work types page. The timesheet functionality is enabled by default. However, if you don't want employees or managers to be able to submit timesheets, you can disable this by clicking here. The final section of this page deals with timesheet providers. You'll notice a few options here. If you're wanting to integrate with either of those providers, you just need to click on the relevant option and follow the process accordingly. There you have it, the timesheets page.